Hi everyone and welcome back to the Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. Last time we got the Master Sword, we killed a couple of ghosts and that's pretty much it. You know, well now we're supposed to go to the Gerudo Desert but I still feel like doing some more ghost hunting and taking care of a certain dungeon, mini dungeon rather, right now. So hold on a moment. Hmm, yeah. Okay, you know what? Change of plans. We'll go ahead and go to Gerudo Desert right now because I'll be able to repair the Bridge of Elden as soon as I, well, around when I go there. Hi. Not quite, not quite, not quite. Uh, special. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'm supposed to show it to him from the menu. So, like this, I guess. Yep. Yeah, actually, it's quite convenient considering I only have 10 rupees. Also, I won't really have to use your help once I get a portal in that area. So, you know. And well, I guess we'll watch this cutscene once again considering it's gonna send us to a new area. It's a fun tune too, so, you know. Yay. Off to the desert of death I go. Seriously, that's what it is. In Ocarina of Time, the, there was the Gerudo that you could meet and it was interesting to meet them because they're culture was quite different from all of the other races. In this game, the Gerudo are gone. They're all dead. Well, except for one, but he's not all that interested in, you know, showcasing what his culture was, so that's too bad. Yes? Mmm... Oh, uh, speaking of cultures, here's Minna's. Uh, the aesthetic was a little weak right there. Like the clouds were nice, but when you once I saw the building, I felt like there was something missing. It could just be me, however. Wow. <laughs> Come on, Nintendo. You, you needed voice acting if you wanted us to feel the emotion in that. I don't know why these creatures are moving so slowly right there. They are slow to react, and I, Zot is moving slowly too, so it's supposed to be, like, dramatic, but... No, it doesn't really work. Also, the game is deliberately not showing us what Mina used to look like before she was cursed into her imp form. I guess it kind of pays off. Yeah, need the Mirror Twilight to be able to go to the Twilight Realm in order to get back the Fused Shadows. My god, Link has a, such a baby face. It's no wonder Minna wanted to fondle it. Anyway, grew the Desert. It's large, it's... I mean, you guys all know Harold Field. You know how it's big, vast, and empty? Well, this is the same thing here, except there's tons of annoying enemies that are going to be following me. Also, there's pea hats Those are neat. Um, we can warp out, right? Yes, we can. But again, you'll have to pay uh, that guy with the cannon if you want to come back here. So it's not recommended. Oh, see, there's something interesting right here. Oh, come on, stupid monsters, ignore me. They cannot reach you if you go up on these rocks. So these are basically safe spots, if you will. Anyway, if you aim at these things, 
can latch on when you're claw shot and get stuff like this. We actually do need rupees right now and we're gonna need to uh, have a lot if we want to finish the side quest for Mallow about him getting his uh, store into Howl Castle or Howl Castle Town rather. But um, it's not that important. It's a side quest after all. And there's not much else I can use my coins for, anyway. Yay, you're stuck. Can't do, they cannot do much once th if they actually land on these rocks. It's kind of cute that way. Cute and cruel. You can also drag them out of the sand using the claw shot if you want. If they're really harassing you. But there's pretty much an infinite amount of them, so... It's kind of a pointless effort, you know? Actually, aren't these creatures reused from uh, that boss fight in uh, Wind Waker? I guess, uh, oh, I can't remember its name. Mulgara? Yeah, these things look reused from that fight. They're very familiar, that's for sure. Also, there's treasures over there, but we cannot break down these things by ourselves. We'll need the help of something much bigger than us if we want to break it down. Please ignore me, little things. I do not want to be harassed right now. What I want to do is go all the way over there. You can, like, you guys see that giant pillar in the distance? That's where we really want to go right now. And where else will we go anyway? It's pretty much the only noticeable thing in this area. Like, there's these small sections where you can do some puzzles, but I mean, this is a now statue puzzle, so. Obviously, we can't do anything with that right now. Um. Yeah, there's a valley right down there. That was a big one. It is a big one. Huh. Fair enough. I mean, back in the Green of Time, there were levers, and they would attack uh, very, very often. And after you defeated a couple of them, a big one would appear, and you'd have to... Well, you wouldn't have to take care of it, but you could take care of it. I guess it's the same thing here. Anyway, yeah, it is. Then we want to latch on to this flying thing. Yay! Somehow it can still hold us and fly at the same time. It's quite impressive. Okay. We're... Yeah. Obviously this was gonna happen. It's important that we get our warp point after all. Oh, and there's also the Golden Wolf. I almost forgot about that guy. New warp point get. And we want to look at that thing up there. Because we want to move it to the Bridge of Elden where it belongs. What do you think it is, Minna? It's for this. Also, it was covering the entrance of a bonus dungeon. I... I don't think I'm ready for the bonus dungeon right now, cons especially considering I'm playing in a really challenging mode. So, we're gonna keep the bonus dungeon for... much later. Like, I I'm gonna need some items to be able to complete it, I think. So, yeah. Anyway, by putting this piece of the Bridge of Elden back into place, the whole... The entirety of Harrow Field is now connected once again. Good thing too. Oh, and there's something down there. Huh. Didn't even notice. And there's a monster right over there, but we're gonna ignore it. Here. Let us go into the best dungeon of the game. Even compared to the main dungeons. In my opinion, of course. Yes! See how cool it looks? See how annoying those fire keys are? See? Now we're gonna have to use the iron boots once again? This is cool. Wish there was more dungeons like this. Hmm. So you just jump. Activate the iron boots. And you go over here. Release. 
Go over here. That's it. That's the dungeon. But I just really like it. Like the atmosphere. Like everything about it. What do you think? You, you guys enjoy a, a dungeon like this? This dungeon specifically? There's another mini dungeon that I can think of that I'll be doing uh, much later. But this dungeon specifically, this mini dungeon specifically, I love it. Just, I love the style of it, you know? The fact that it's completely optional and that you have to go out of your way to find it yourself is really cool too. Also, these things are back and they're still very, very weak. That's too bad. And we do need this, so that's okay. Um, yeah, go over here. Because that's where it continues. We want to get a heart piece after all. Uh, yeah, it's all the way down there. Get away. And I just jump down, right? No. Huh. That would have been very, very bad if I had just jumped down now, wouldn't it? Let's just say that Link would have turned 200% hotter than he currently is. I want to use our lantern for these two things so we can get an extra 50 rupees. Either that or the actual piece of heart. Oh no, it's a stamp. Piece of heart stamp. <laughs> so I guess it is kind of the piece of heart, just not the way we were expecting it. But this is the way we were expecting it. Now I've got 10 hearts. Yay! I could still use some more, but now I'm pretty comfortable. So to get out, you... Oh, oh, we're here now. Uh, yeah, okay. So this is the exit. Well, that explains that. So you just get out by doing this. Oh, and it's nighttime now, so... I guess I can do some more ghost hunting. Hi. Time to die. Again, because you're already dead. Yeah, there's a ghost all the way up there. Is there not one up inside the... Uh, not inside, but in the hot springs? Also, they patched up the hole. Nice. <laughs> they listened to me. Uh, I guess there isn't. Is that a fish? Oh, no, it's a, <laughs> it's a chicken. Nice, huh? Um, actually, is this hot spring water? I, I, I better check right now, actually. Also, there's plenty of holes to dig into, but none of them really have anything interesting. Uh, that's too bad. Oh, and there's two ghosts. Well, I can take my sweet time getting to them, considering time does not move when you're inside, uh, well, Kakariko in this case. Yay! Yeah, if it cools, there'll be plain water. Okay, so that's what we have to do. We have to bring the Goron that's uh, on the west uh, portion of her old castle town, this hot spring water. Really? It's because of this Goron. Natural oil, red potion, and the blue potion. Hmm. Well, if you want to get the blue potion, you get it from this kid. Hi. Don't want to fall down. Yay. I already have more than... Oh, wait, wait. Now I remember. Giovanni tells you to find 20 ghosts. However, once you've found 20, it turns out there's like 50 to find. Right? That's why I was so confused when you said there's only 20. Yeah, obviously there's a ghost here. It'd be strange if there wasn't. You cannot turn back from a wolf. 
when someone sees you, or turn into a wolf when someone sees you. Hey, help me up. Yep. Launch me as high as you can. He doesn't want to admit it, but he's basically a chockster. Um, yeah, obviously there's a ghost up there, but how do I get there? Cannot remember. Help me up. Yeah, now that I have a claw shot, I can basically go to places like these. Neat, huh? Ooh, gold slime. Or gold chew. Uh, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Or rare chew jelly, let's say. Oh, and right there. Y'all saw that? There's a point where I can go up there from here. But first, we want to go over there. Uh, if we can. What the hell? Huh. That, that's strange. Thought for sure I could latch onto that, but I guess not. Hi, uh, having fun up there? Yeah, whatever. I need to get at least one more ghost before it's daytime again. Oh, it's by falling through there. Okay. That's how you get that piece of heart, I think. Something. So you fall right down here and you get the treasure. Uh, you open it from this side. And you have to do it as Link, of course. Piece of heart. There are quite a lot in this game. Got six out of eight. So this is for this entire area. The area of Elden, so... Hmm... The ghosts could be somewhere in this field or something. They could be anywhere. Whatever the case, it's not likely that we'll be finding them here. Yeah. However, there is something inside the uh, dungeon that I still need to do. Because y'all remember when I ignored one of the treasure chests inside that dungeon because I figured I needed the claw shot to be able to get it? Well, I think I can get it now. Yeah, okay, so I did need the claw shot. No doubt about that. It's a stamp. Letter U. Can I warp out? Rinda, can we warp out? No, we can't. And I don't have a coup with me, so... Gotta walk all the way back. Now what? I want to take this uh, moment to apologize for a couple of things. First of all, bomb arrows are actually surprisingly very useful in this game, unlike what I said back when they were first introduced. So, I was wrong on all accounts with that, even though there's still that little thing that I enjoy more in Link's Awakening about finding about the combo there, but, you know, bomb arrows are very, very useful in this game. Just want to say that. Uh, but there's also a couple of other things I want to say. I also want to mention that money is not as pointless as I originally thought as well, because, well, clearly, we need a lot of money right now if we want to complete Mallow's side quest. And... The last armor makes technically money always useful in a roundabout way. Third, I want to apologize for failing to use my Link Amiibo to fully heal myself in instances where I could have used it. I forgot to use it every time. Of course, some people might prefer it that way, but uh, I really should have at least demonstrated at least once. Anyway, I'm searching for a bug at this one. Gimme. You are mine. What are you? Male beetle. Cool. The female should be somewhere in this area, but... Uh, well... Oh, I'll find it right now. Sorry, Pona, but you really are useless. I want to go bug hunting, and it's much easier to do it this way. See? Much easier to notice it. Or wait, no, that's a piece of heart. Huh. Never knew there was one just randomly up in this tree. I guess you can get it as soon as you get the Gale Boomerang, so 
As soon as you get out into this field, you can get that piece of heart. Hmm. Is that it? Yeah, it's up here. Hey, hey, come on. Come on down. There. Load the male and the female. Get. Oh. Okay, so the shop is... Uh, the shop right here is only open at night. That's unusual. <laughs> yeah. About that. Oh, what the hell? Oh no, that's right. You can actually find the postman in various areas in the game. Like various interiors. Right? I think that's how it is. It's kind of neat at first, but then it becomes tiresome, I feel. This is the very first time I managed to find him, however. So, cool, I guess? <laughs> What a tease! But that's just extremely convenient. I believe there is a ghost down here, but... Yeah, it's still daytime, so I don't think it's gonna appear regardless. Okay, 2,000 rupees. Yeah, that's what I figured. So 3,000 rupees total to just uh, get the item, ri like uh, the potential to get the last armor. Okay, got hot spring water. Opponent is waiting for me right down there. Gotta go fast. Hmm, I still avoided fall damage. It's quite impressive how much of uh, distance Link can fall in this game. There. You. There. Dows. What? Please don't tell me. Oh, I missed. <laughs> I missed. I have to douse it on him, not uh, not near him. It has to be on him. From what I can see, there does not appear to be any ghosts in this area. Okay. This time, I'm not gonna miss. Hopefully. What? How? Okay. Instead of being a dumb dumb and just continuously trying something that clearly does not work, I looked up the solution, and I think I'm supposed to talk to this guy. Her, maybe. Yes. Yes. See, it has to be a barrel of hot spring water, not a bottle of hot spring water. Big difference. Also, you have to walk there. No using the Puna. Kind of annoying, but it's not that far. Levers, seriously? And yeah, you drop. Oh, you stupid things! Need to try again, sorry. Okay, this time I'm gonna do it like this. Hang at the edge. That way those stupid levers will not get to me. At least I don't think they will. In case you need to get rid of the enemies, you can do something like this. Place the barrel, then take care of the enemy. Yeah, this is much better. The levers do not attack you at all if you hang around here, around the edge. Ain't that convenient. 
Okay. You! It's time to get doused. Put it on you. More like throw it on you! <laughs> Dough I missed. Okay. Uh, yeah, obviously you don't just like just throw it there. Mm-hmm. So time. Yeah, the the, the scene is still going because <laughs> he was going home to get the hot spring water. And he gives us a piece of heart. Yay! Hey. Yes, you can. Yeah, I, I should get some now. The only... Reason why I need to get some right now is for a Goron down south here. Hi, Gita, but I need to talk to this Goron first. I've got hot spring water for you. Yes. Okay, so it's not gonna open right away, but it will eventually. Hey, Ekta. Just looking for bugs? Well, I'm gonna bring you some more partners by going to your castle. A assuming you'll be there. Aha, that's right. I can go here. For... Rupees. Basically. And some arrows. Oh, uh, you can only climb on that rope if you're a wolf. Oh wait, there's a treasure just over there. Huh. So I should be able to go over there. Yeah, I have to hang from the ledge. Yeah, that's what I have to do. Like this. And turn back into a wolf. And get the treasure. A hundred rupees. That's not so bad. But I still don't know how to get the one down there. Hmm. Only seven left. Anyway, I'm sorry that this video has been entirely all about side quests, but it's easy to get lost into them when you can do so many. No, I'm gonna do this. Hi. Can we do this now? Hey. Yep. So, this is challenge number one. 30 seconds to go to the top. Clearly, you're supposed to use this to go everywhere very quickly. However, there's going to be a second challenge. And it's not going to be so easy to do this entire thing. <laughs> With only one claw shot. Hell, it's not that easy even with a claw shot.
Too bad. Yay, big quiver. Yeah, there's gonna be another stage later on. We're not gonna be doing it anytime soon. <laughs> yeah, another they're fangirls to me. Boo, you're dead. Ah, come on. Stupid thing. Uh, I'm messing up. Here. Oh ho ho. I want to go up here. Oh, what? From the back? Are you serious? What a cheap bastard. Come on. Male, butterfly, female, female. That's only six bugs left already. Yeah. So we have to do this game if we want to get the... The... Pose. Down there. Gotta go to the left. All the way. Over there. Jeez. Not making this easy, pal. Okay. You. There. And also there's a hole right there? After that, it's just a reward. What do I get? No, it is a hole I can dig into. I don't remember this at all. Just, just saying that. Um, those creatures I can easily take care of, but we're gonna ignore them for now. Okay, arrows. Uh, maybe I can get rid of them. Nah. Should take care of them the old fashioned way. There's four of them, right? Oh my goodness, seriously? Two hearts? And I'm dead. Uh, I thought I only dealt one heart of damage. Also, this is a funny <laughs> death animation. Just because it's so overly dramatic. Well, I guess it's a good time to show the power of the Link Amiibo then. Just after I use the Gandorf one again. Link Amiibo, go. Oh, Link Amiibo re replenishes my arrows. It's Zelda who replenishes my health. Zelda or Sheik. Yay. Incidentally, those Amiibos can only be used once a day. Just saying that right now. Okay, two down. That one down. And this one down. There. And you get a piece of heart for your trouble. At least I think it's a piece of heart. Oh, this, this. Okay, 100 rupees. It's actually a better reward than... Well, not necessarily a better reward, but it's still a good reward. Come on. Let's hope I can still make it to... Oh man, it's way too far! Ah, huh, come on, Cuckoo. Can you carry me all the way to that platform? No. Ah. What a sham. I have to do that minigame once again. Oh, there's also that island over there. There's probably something over there. Hmm. What a shame. Oh, are the treasures back? They are. Or the, the main one is, anyway. Okay, so you can always win 100 rupees when, when playing this game. Nice to know. No! <laughs> okay, I'm still fine because the ghost does start here and it's, it's still attracted to me, but you want to be careful. You really want to be careful. Oh, 
Well, there's no ghost there, that's for sure. Or can I dig into a hole? No. <laughs> well, back where I started this video, they killed ya. Ah, but no, I'm not ending this here. I'm still gonna get that golden wolf and get that next move over with, and then I'll finish the video. Now, some of you might be wondering, why am I playing this game again? Well, I saw a treasure chest all the way over there. Y'all see it? You can just barely reach that location and... Perfect. Gimme. A hundred rubies, not so bad. Uh, there's another one over there, but I'm not sure if I can go there. Yeah. And go here. Oh yeah, I can go there. Never mind. And 50 rupees. Okay, that's not so bad. 150 rupees total. Uh, can we finally finish this video? It's been such a long time since I've gone back here. This is the longest recording that I've ever done. It's been an hour and 41 minutes of just me going around doing a bunch of side quests. Kind of crazy, huh? Anyway, there's definitely some bugs in this area, but it's much easier to search for them during uh, nighttime. If you want to get that treasure chest, you're going to have to use that uh, P hat or whatever that is up there. We're going to do that later, however. Right now, I just want to get the golden wolf over with. It might be a little difficult. I might need a little help of uh, some creatures, after all. Yeah. These things. And I have to do this as normal Link. Damn it. Come on. There. Need your help, buddy. See, Link can ride these creatures too, surprisingly enough. Just want to get rid of him. Don't know why we have to. Ah! Uh, where are you? There. Yeah, these two are going to keep calling some more of uh, the other goblins until you get rid of them. So get rid of them first. Anyway, you can ride these things and it's not convenient. They're also slower than a Pona, if you can believe that. However, you can dash with them and it does this. Yes! Then they crash into something that's it for your ride on these things. <sighs> I said all I was going to do was the Golden Wolf. But I want to get that thing over there over with right now too. If you dash with them and they don't end up crashing into anything after a while, they you just start controlling them normally again. Yay. Oh yeah, you can't really defend yourself with your sword while in these things for some reason. I guess it's because it's not as comfortable as a Pona. Whatever the case, you're kind of vulnerable. Oh, and there's a bug right over there. Well, that's convenient. First, however... Let's get this over with. Couldn't use our bombs for this. Nope, had to use this warthog. Or whatever it is. It is a neat creature, I'll give it that. Oh, a hundred rupees! Oh, my goodness! I, I know I need money, but I don't need it that desperately. No, anyway, give me the bug. It's right over there. It's a dayfly. A male dayfly. What a unique creature. Damn it! There.
There's 11 ghosts in the Gerudo Desert. Obviously, it includes the bonus dungeon and the uh, dungeon over there, but it's still quite impressive considering this is a completely new area. A stamp? <laughs> well, let her are. Here you are. Uh, well, I know where the other ghost is. He's basically on the complete other edge of the desert. At least one of them. Uh, might as well get over it. This is going to be an extra long collection episode. Oh, there's one ghost over there. But it's not quite the <laughs> edge of the desert. Hi. Oh, there's a hole right there. Another place I'm gonna have to spend time on. For a hundred rupees, I bet. Okay, what's in you? Oh, cool. Need bombs. Oh, and another ghost. Jeez. Ah, come on. Yay. Yeah, we've collected 20 ghosts, but <laughs> as I said before, there's plenty more, so it's not over on the collection yet. Like, see, there's one more right there. Come on. You can still collect them, right? I'm better. Now I have to light all of these things to solve the puzzle. Right. Right. Y'all know that now that I have 20 postals, that means I have to... Oh, sad minna stamp. <laughs> now that I have 20 postals, that means I also have to go back to Giovanni for his first reward. Such a long episode. It's crazy, huh? Ooh, the, uh, the other bug is right there. The female one, right? Come on. Here we go. Female day fly. Only four bugs left. Right? Yeah. Only I need to find these two, and I think they're in uh, the snow area. So, North Hyrule Castle. That shouldn't be too difficult. And this one, I kind of know where the female one is. So yeah, I know where all the bugs are. No problem whatsoever. Huh. Really? No ghost. I seem to remember a ghost being around this area, but I guess not. And no ghost in this area either. Huh. Well, what a waste of time. I mean, there were there was some ghosts over there, but I was expecting some in those areas instead. I guess I misremembered. Uh, golden wolf. Oh, there's a ghost over there! <laughs> I was about to say, golden wolf, let's end this episode. But no, there's one more ghost right there. Gotta collect it. Awesome. These things too. Whatever. Oh my goodness, I'm almost dead on Earth. <laughs> Leave me alone! Stupid things! Get this over with! Finish the episode! Finish the fight! Finish this video! Ugh, what an ordeal! Oh, but I still have to check Giovanni. Oh, whatever. Still, this is one of the last things I have to do here in this area until I go back to the next video. Yes, true secrecy. They won't endanger me. Boom, boom. Boom. Yeah! Best skill. Because it's all about disrespect. Mm-hmm. Yes.
Ah, it's amazing. Every future Zelda game should have this skill. It's too bad Skyward Sword ditched it. Anyway, you do it like this. Ah, I almost died right there. You can do it while not facing your enemy, technically, but I guess not in this case. But in the other cases, uh, when you're fighting normal enemies, you can do it, when it wherever they are. As far as I know. Yeah, there's two more skills, but small well, one of them is pretty useful. Uber spin attack. But it only it's only effective once you're at full health. And the other one I can't remember what it is. Anyway, we're gonna see Giovanni and that'll be the end of this episode. Hey Giovanni. Now you can move and your cat is free. But you're still made out of gold. Yeah, an extra bottle! And it's basically the same effect as the rare true jelly. Yeah, bonus dungeon. There's 20... 60?! Huh. Okay, I don't remember this in the original, so... This should help a lot. Um, the reward for finding all of the ghosts, however, is not worth it. Are you the cat that was frozen? Jingle. Yeah, you probably should. Anyway, yeah, that's uh, Giovanni. He gave us the fourth bottle. That's very good, actually. I should use those bottles to heal myself every now and then. Uh, concerned. I'm still getting game overs despite having 10 hearts. Sorry if some of you were expecting more progress in this episode, but I spent most of it chasing ghosts and doing some side quests and getting lost, uh, not being able to accomplish much. Hope you've all enjoyed it and hope you have a nice day. Next time, actual Gerudo Desert stuff.